Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, today I'm going to start incubating some eggs. My girls have been laying anywhere from probably 15 to 24 eggs a day. And as you can see, they're kind of stacking up behind me here. Um, we've sold some. We just don't have enough customers to sell them all. And we can only eat so many eggs. So for Christmas, Wes bought me this incubator. We just kind of looked online, um, found one kind of in a decent price range. Uh, so we went with the Kabonix um, Automatic Digital Incubator. I liked it because it has uh, the automatic egg turner um, and it has a temperature and humidity display. So I don't have to keep track of that quite as much. Um, so I actually have two of them. Uh, we're going to unbox this one. I just got this one today. And I'll kind of show you how we set it up. Um, and then I have my other one set up and ready to go. So then we'll head over to that one and put some of our eggs in there. They're fairly easy to set up. Uh, they come from the factory all preset with the temperature and uh, humidity set at what you want it to be. Um, once you plug it in, it's going to start counting down from that day down to uh, 21 days. Once they hatch, then you can reset it for your next batch. You'll have to go in reset the days so it starts back down at one. Um, once um, you get to about seven to ten days, uh, when you take your eggs out to candle them and see if they're fertile, it has a candling light on here so you don't have to have a separate flashlight or whatever um, unless you prefer to do it that way. So what we're going to do here is take this little tape off. Hold the lid on. Um, it also, when it gets down to the last three days before hatch, you'll want to take the egg turner out and it will go on automatic lockdown. Then you'll just need to adjust your humidity higher um, by closing this little air vent here. Um, and it'll lock down, keep counting down uh, until your chicks start to hatch. So I've got the tape off. Take your lid off here. You're going to put this little egg turner piece on this center post and you're going to want to make sure that these are lined up in the grooves with the egg turner here. That's going to sit in there like that. This cord here you're going to plug into the back and that's for your egg turner. So that's going to go in the one spot right here. Get that in there. We're going to get our power cord out. That's going to plug into the next spot over here. Plug it in. And it's going to display right here your temperature and your humidity level. These are your controls uh, for resetting 
your days and your um, temperature and stuff once you're done hatching. Uh, when it's heating, you're going to have the red light on uh, and it will flash when it's heating. Your green light down here is telling you that your uh, automatic egg turning table is on. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take some room temperature distilled water and you want to pour it in your little port here and there's a level that you want to go to. Um, when you first start you want to go almost to the top of that but not quite because it will overflow into your second port there and you don't want to fill that until when you're close to hatch. Okay. Now we've got that there. We're just going to go ahead. You're going to set the lid back on. And you're going to line up, there's two little slots on the side here, and you're just going to line that up like that, set it on there secure. It's going to show you up at the top that your temperature and your humidity are either climbing or lowering. Um, what you're going to want to do to test your egg turner is you'll push the plus button and you just want to do that and make sure that it's working okay and then you're just gonna leave it like this for two to three hours so that your temperature and humidity uh, level off and you know exactly where they're at before you put your eggs in there so I'm gonna leave this one and then like I said I have my other one I set up earlier so now we're gonna go over there and I've got a dozen eggs they will each hold a dozen so we're gonna go get these ones in the incubator over here uh, and start them going uh, looks like I'm not gonna do this one though I think this one has a crack I'm gonna take that one out I'm just going to grab another one. Okay, as you can see on this one that I've got set up, it's got the preset temperature is 99.5 Fahrenheit. And my humidity is at 50% and that's exactly where I want it to be. So I'm going to go ahead, take the lid off. Try not to drop it on the floor. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my eggs. And you're going to want to lay them in there with the pointy side facing in. This one might be a little too big. I don't think that's going to roll on its own. So I'm going to have to get another one of those too. But you take the pointy side and you put it in because that way when it's time to hatch and you take this out, there's going to be room when they come out the end of the egg. Go ahead and fill this up. You want to make sure that your eggs are clean, not um, full of dirt and poop and stuff. And you don't want them to be too old. Um, the ideal is maybe five to seven days old. Um, and then you have a more successful hatch rate. 
So I'm going to run and go grab another egg and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I've got my last egg. I'm going to put that in there. And you want to make sure that they fit and there's enough room so they're going to be able to roll when the turner moves them. That way they get, uh, everybody rolls and turns at the same time. Then you're just going to put your lid back on. And that's it. You're just going to let it do its thing. About every day and a half to two days, you're going to want to come back and check and uh, see how much water you have in your little fill port here and probably add some more water if your humidity level is down. Um, as you can see from having the lid off just to put the eggs in there, the temperature went down to 90 degrees Fahrenheit and our humidity dropped in there a little bit. So that's going to come back up. We're going to leave these for about seven or eight days. I'll come back and uh, we'll candle them and we'll see how many are fertile. And uh, tomorrow I'm going to go ahead and, or maybe later this evening, I'll go ahead and load up our other incubator there and we'll go from there. So if you like our videos, uh, hit the like button, uh, subscribe to our channel, and uh, until next time, keep on living the good life.